The first step in string quilting is to place a strip of fabric right side up on top of your batting. I put mine at an angle, and then I place the second strip right side down on top of it with the raw edges even. Now you're going to stitch these two together right through the batting, and you want to use approximately a quarter of an inch seam allowance. But this project or this method of piecing and quilting is not fussy, it's not precise, you don't have to even worry about it. If your seam allowance is a lot smaller or a lot larger, it's still gonna turn out. So once you get the seam stitched, you're gonna flip the fabric over to the right side and press it. I like to keep a little iron beside my sewing machine to just to press as I go along. You can finger press it if you want to. And then you just keep adding strips. You place a strip right side down, again with the raw edges even, and you stitch it and you flip it and you just keep doing this until you have covered the batting entirely out over the, ed the edges of the batting. Once you have covered this end of the batting, you're going to go back to the center and you're going to do the exact same thing until you have covered the other end. And this is what you end up with, kind of a wonky piece of stitched fabric. So you'll turn it over to the batting side and you'll use that as a guide to trim all the rough edges off so that you get a nice, straight, clean piece of string quilted fabric.